Hi, my name is Maria and I'm a mathematician and today I'm going to give you step by step on finding slope and y intercept. So if we are given two points of a line, let's say 2, 4 and 3, 6, and you're asked to find the slope and the y intercept. All right, first you need to know the slope formula. So that is m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And now you need to label your x's and your y's so you know which are which. So I'm going to go ahead to my first ordered pair, and you know that every ordered pair has an x and a y. So I'm going to call my 2 x1, and then my 4 will be y1. You have to make sure that the ones are the same. You don't mix up the 1 and the 2. And then my second ordered pair, again, you know that the first element is always x, so that's going to be my x2, and the 6 will be my y2. Now that everything is labeled, I can go ahead and just substitute into the formula that I have. So y2 is 6, so I'm going to go ahead and write 6, minus y1 is 4, I'm going to substitute it with 4, over x2 is 3, minus x1 is 2. All right, now I'm just simplifying. 6 minus 4 in the numerator is 2, over 3 minus 2 is 1, and I can simplify that further because 2 divided by 1 is just 2. So that means that my slope is 2, okay? So that's how you find the slope. Now, once you have the slope, you can find the y-intercept. And to do that, you need to know the y-intercept formula, or e form of an equation of a line. So y equals mx plus b. m is always your slope, and b is always your y-intercept. So if you have m, and you have one of the points, you can find b. It doesn't matter which point I choose. Normally, it's easier to choose the point with the lower numbers or the one without negatives. In this case, neither of them have negatives. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this ordered pair right here. I'm going to substitute y with 4, because in this ordered pair, my y is 4, equals, I'm substituting m with 2, because I found out my slope was 2. Open a parenthesis, I'm going to substitute x with 2 plus b. And now I'm just going to solve for b. So 2 times 2 is 4. I get 4 equals 4 plus b. I'm solving for b, and I'm going to do that by subtracting 4 on both sides. When I do that, I get 4 minus 4 is 0, equals, these cancel out, b. So I found my y-intercept to be 0. So now I have my slope is 2, and my y-intercept is 0, and the y-intercept is the point at which my line is going to cross the y-axis, so that means that my line is hitting the y-axis at 0, all right? And that's the step-by-step -step on how to find slope and y-intercept.